Hey everybody, how are you doing? Good, we hope so. We're so excited. We are at the Roaring Fork Motor Trail. We're gonna drive through and just show you all the beautiful sights that we can. Mm -hmm. It's in the Gatlinburg, Tennessee area, the Great Smoky Mountains area. I hope you'll join us. This is quite the adventure. Yeah. This is where the Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail. Very narrow, winding, one lane road, and you want to take your time. The distance is five miles, average driving time one hour. Speed them at 10 miles per hour. A little place there at the beginning, you can stop and get a free Roaring Fork Auto Tour booklet. Okay. It tells you all about everything as we go through here. Just see everything from driving. So if you're you got handicap or can't leave your vehicle, this is a great place to come and just drive through. So nice. I've got Karen over here checking out the guide. What are you finding out? On a clear day, you might be able to see Sugarland and Cold Mountains. Look at that view. Great Smoky Mountains. Look at that. It's clear today too, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's like we're walking in the land of the dead here. So sad. But yet so beautiful. Look at that. Wow. This place is gorgeous. And we're just getting started. We're just now getting started. Here's these flowers blooming. I'm not in the middle of it all. I know. Here you go. Kind of trying to get to the top of this little knoll up here. I bet the view's going to be gorgeous up there. It's amazing how far you can see. So let's go on forward on this trail. So you definitely want to pay attention where you're driving. So look at that. It is a long way down. Creeks. There's a lot of hogs here. I think we're coming up to Grotto Falls parking. The llamas are up on the trail. Are they? Yeah. Grotto Falls is 1.4 miles that way. Okay, we're just passing number six. A little booklet's got numbers. And what's it six say? We just topped out? Yeah, and you're heading down Roaring Fork Watershed. With windows open, you'll be able to feel noticeably cooler. And you're surrounded by tall, straight, evergreen hemlock trees. So you can see we're just right off the trail at a parking place. What number was this, Karen? Nine, eight or nine on the map? God? I don't think it was a number yet. What do you think about this? Beautiful. Yeah. Clean mountain air. Rhododendron. Yes. Wow. Look at the water coming across there. It's so peaceful. I love the noise. And if you're a hiker, this is the 
Bassins Creek Trail, Trillium Gap Trail, 2.7 miles. Yard Ridge Trail. Kind of an old homestead. And what were you saying about one of the houses up here? Yeah, there's one of these houses across the stream. Uh, it's not on its original site, but the barn is. Oh yeah. It's hard to move it and preserve its integrity now. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Oh, there's a nest up there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. What a neat barn. See how the thing was made. The woodwork. Look at that. Mm. Makes you appreciate what they could do back in the day. Okay, just above the cabins. This is 7.6. Well, we're not sure if this is old Jim Bell's place or not, are we? Let's take a peek. Oh yeah, cool. We should get the old fireplace and this window or whatever it was used for I don't know listen to the boards creaking now we just made it to next stop off this Roaring Fork look at that this is who does this belong to this is Ephraim and Minerva Bell's cabin two-room cabin where they raised nine children nine children so 11 people in this thing well, let's go take a look at that miracle this is nine nine children can you imagine of course my dad was the 15th of 15 children i don't know how they did it look at this fireplace and um, we're not sure which side came first, but one side was obviously built before the other one. Just a little one room cabin and fireplace. But you can't be too tall on living here, could you? No. Let's check this other one out over here. Yep. Well, maybe this is a little spring house over here. I don't know what it is about the mountains, but I sure love them. The Great Smoky Mountains. Ooh. What do you got? Just a kind of a barn, right? Yeah, it looks like a little bit, maybe for animals. Yep. Get the moss on the roof. Mm -hmm. What do you see? Moss and rocks up there. I'm going to take you guys out to the middle of this river. We're not going to take that next step. Look at that. Downstream. You should come here.
me really should. Okay. I'm taller than you. What? I'm taller than him. Yes, you are. For one of the few times. Whoa. About went in. Did you see that? Don't go in. Okay, guys. So that place is just right off of, uh, what was this name of this place? The stop. They're numbered, a lot of these. Number 10. Oh, number 11 is the Jim Bell's cabin. Yeah, Jim Bell's cabin. No, I'm sorry. Jim no, Ethan. Jim Bell's cabin. Yeah, yeah. Now we're here at the Alfred Reagan Reagan place. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so this is the other family that was living along Roaring Fork Road, and um, they built this saddlebag house, and they said it's because two rooms are hanging from the same chimney. And also, he noticed they needed a meal. He was a farmer, like the Bell's family and he knew they needed a community store so he built one check out these colors huh yeah so the information says they used the only three colors sears and robux had to paint their saddlebag house only three colors and it was white blue and yellow oh blue Around the fireplace. This is a more modern cabin, Telvin. The, mm -hmm. Look at this neat shelving. So there should be a fireplace on the other side if they're using the same chimney. Yeah. So this is a pretty good sized cabin compared to what we've seen. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to walk over to the mill. It's just across the water coming through there. So we've got a millstone in there. Look at that. Still beautiful everywhere you turn. Well, here we are again, yet another bridge and beautiful. Is this not incredible? Yes. Careful, some of these uh, little bridges are pretty narrow. Probably one of the prettiest spots yet. Right. Yes. It's called the Place of a Thousand Drips. coming well that's probably one of the prettiest 
so far, isn't it? Yeah. I think we're getting near the end of the trail. Here's Eli's farm. Hey everybody, we're glad you joined us on the Roaring Forks Motor Trail in Gatlinburg. And I'll have to tell you, it is just unbelievable. You could see so much without even getting out of your vehicle. You cross, uh, I don't know, what, seven, eight creeks, different places, the river, different places, with nice bridges. Mm -hmm. View these old homesteads. And now we're here at the end at uh, Eli's Mill, is that right? Yes, and farm. And, and farm, yeah. And the store. You can see the trucks back there. So it's been a great adventure. Yes. If you've been here, comment. Let us know what you think about it. If you have any questions, comment also and let us know. <laughs> Make sure and hit that subscribe button. We really would appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And hit the bell icon if you want to get notifications of when we put a new video up. Yep. We'll see y'all the next time on our next adventure. For now, this is Fridays. Forever. Bye. See you guys meal. Stay here at Eli's Mill Cabins Rental, elismill.com, 393. Look at that, it's Millside Cabin. There you go. Yes, come in the entrance. All kinds of stuff. Honey straws. Well, this is licorice. Oh, that's licorice flavor. Oh, okay. Honey straws, calendars, and all the. Look at this, your paddle. Mm -hmm. This Mimi would never use. The Bears Coffee. Did you hear me? What? This Mimi would never use a paddle. <laughs> <laughs> Red hot. Soaps. Goat chicken. George Racing. <laughs> well, it's neat, isn't it? Let's walk on up to the meal. But you can't go any further. No entry. Good old Dodge. Two, two Dodges. Trucks there. One's got a load of wood. That old tractor over there. That can. That's um, beehives. See all the bees swarming way up there in the boxes? Yeah. What a cool fence, huh?